Hi kids! Today we will learn more about the force of friction. So let's get started. Friction is a force that resists motion when two surfaces are in contact with each other. Friction occurs when two things rub together. Let's see it with an example. Take a toy car. Push it on different types of surfaces from rough to smooth and see and record how far it goes every time. First, push a car on a very rough surface, like a carpet, and see how far the car goes. Now push it on a less rough surface, like a cardboard, and see how far it goes. Now push it on a very smooth surface, and see how far it goes. Result is very clear. Smoother the surface, faster and farther the car goes. This is because the rougher the surface, the more the friction it poses, or the opposing force for any movement. The smoother the surface, the lesser the friction or the opposing force. That is why objects goes very fast and smoothly on smoother surface because there is no or very less opposing force, which is friction. So smooth surface posed less friction and the car goes very far. So the point you need to remember is friction acts against any motion when two objects are in contact with each other, and friction acts in opposite direction of every movement. It is the friction that slows down every movement and eventually stops it. And it is the friction because of which there is a grip between two surfaces. If there would be no friction, things would just slip away. There will not be any grip between two objects. And this is why, whenever we need more grip, we create the surfaces rough so that there is more friction and more grip. And wherever we need two objects to slide past each other, we create lesser friction by making the surfaces of objects very smooth. We will see many examples about it. Here we have a ball. Now, kick it. It will start moving. But eventually, it slows down and stops. It is because of the friction or the opposing force, which is always there. If there would have been no friction and you kick the ball, the ball would be moving indefinitely. That is, it will never slow down or stop. It happens in space. There is no friction and gravity in space, and this is why if something is left in space, it remains there forever moving. Now let's see some examples where we need friction. Here, a girl is trying to walk on a road covered with ice, and it's very difficult as the road is very slippery. Why? It is because the ice is very, very smooth and posing no friction. That makes the surface slippery. Here, the boy wants to climb the pole. So, should the pole be very smooth or rough? We know the smoother the surface, the lesser the friction. If the pole will be very smooth, the pole will not pose friction and the boy will slip. But if the pole will be rough, it will pose friction and the boy will not slip. So the pole should be rough so that the boy is able to climb the pole easily. So friction is required here. So we saw friction where friction was required. Now let's see examples where we do not need friction. Here. The boy wants to go faster to enjoy the ride. So, friction. Should it be less or more? There should be very less friction. Here is another example. Here, in this bowling game, 
there should be none or least friction so that the ball goes as fast as possible. Because the smoother the surface, the lesser the friction or opposing the force. When there is no opposing force, the ball is bound to go very fast. Now let's see what is the relationship between friction and the grip. We learned that the smoother the surface is in contact, the lesser the friction. That is, the surface will not stay in contact. They will slip off. That is, there will be no grip. And rougher the surface is in contact, the higher the friction or opposing force. That is, there will be more grip and the two objects will have better contact. So we learned that friction does not let the two surfaces in contact to slide past each other and creates grip. This is why surface of tires is made as rough as possible to have more grip on the road. Otherwise, the tires will skid off or slip off the road. The smoother things are slippery to hold because they pose less friction. Here is one more example. Push a striker on the carom board and see how far it goes. Now, push a striker on the carpet and see how far it goes. The striker goes much farther on the carom board because there is least friction. That is no opposing force and no grip. And the surface of carpet is very rough, that is, it will pose a lot of friction or a lot of opposing force for the movement of striker. And there is much more grip between the striker and the carpet, so it doesn't move much. So wherever you need more grip and control, you need friction. So kids, today we learned what is friction. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.